Hey folks, this is Ben Gilbert here with Engadget, and we are here with Razer CEO Min Liang Tang. Yes. And uh, we have the Razer Edge, which was originally Project Fiona. It's a uh, gaming tablet running Windows 8, yes. and uh, it's what you are calling the world's most powerful tablet, right? Well, it's the world's first tablet designed for PC gamers. Okay, so uh, we've got the, this is a, an Edge Pro here. There, is, there are two models. Right. Mm -hmm. So the uh, Edge Pro that we have here is a, uh, it's, it's, it's running Windows 8, as we've said before. Yes, it mm -hmm. It's got a 10.1 a inch screen? 10.1 inch screen, it's uh, 1366 by 768. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the graphics card it's pushing in in both models, the the Pro and the base level, is the uh, the GT 640 M LE LE, right? That's right. And uh, the the Pro we're seeing here also comes with uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 128 gigabyte uh, SSD. Pretty tab. much uh, like a full you know gaming laptop setup. Right, and so uh, could you uh, just give us a little demo of this? Sure, absolutely. We're running Civilization Five here, right? This is Civilization Five. It's a uh, it's in tablet mode, you know, it's in touch mode. So essentially, you know, it's the world's most powerful tablet. It's got Core i7, uh, GD640M, and uh, runs all the PC games right out of the box without any need for a porting optimization. Mm -hmm. This is Civ 5, right? right. Um, we, we got it off Steam, and uh, essentially, you know, you can see it running in touch mode. Um, and they're pretty much, uh, they're pretty much three modes that we've got the Razer Edge running in. Mm -hmm. This is in pure tablet mode. You can run it off um, any standard Win8 uh, tablet. And um, we've also got it. It's a tablet, but it's not just a tablet, but it's a PC and it's console too. Right. So this is what we've got it running in PC mode. Um, this is with a keyboard dock. Uh, it's a full-sized keyboard. It um, essentially allows you to play MMOs and stuff like that. This is Rift. We're seeing it on a base level. This is the Razer Edge. Yes, this is the base level Core i5 Razer Edge. Right. Uh, you can look at it. It's beautiful. You know, it's incredible. It's stunning frame rates, um, essentially. And um, you can hook it up with a mouse. And it's a full-sized uh, little gaming laptop. Absolutely. And the, the keyboard peripheral we're seeing here, mm -hmm. it doesn't come standard with it. And it's coming out in, I believe, Q3 2013, right? Yes, it is. Uh, there's a, the price is, is yet to be known. But the, 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 what we're seeing here is a prototype, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. And uh, it, can you fold it down for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. So you can fold it down. The ID is not final. But it folds down to be a little tiny uh, gaming laptop. Right. You can you carry throw it in your bag and run out. Throw it in your bag uh, and run around with it. So this is Rift um, running natively. This is the standard version, the Core i5 version. And it's, it's beautiful. So it's a tablet, it's a PC, and it's a console. Right, and so the, mm -hmm. it's also a portable console, right? So as we see here uh -huh. in the, the third iteration, this is the, uh, the detachable gamepad controller that we've got here, right? Mm -hmm. This is Dishonored. You know, it's a 2012 uh, game. It runs out of the box, and uh, essentially you can see uh, Dishonored just running straight on this. And um, you, when, when I get hit, there's a little, you can feel it. It's sure. a bit of force feedback Absolutely. going over there. So it's oh. force feedback enabled. All the games that are gamepad enabled with this runs out of the box with, uh, in the gamepad mode. And uh, there's a, a bundle for the, the gamepad, right? That comes yes. it, with the Pro. It's uh, $14.99? $12.99? $14.99. $14.99, right. So with right. the Pro version, um, you get the Core i7, you get, the, uh, you get 128 gigs of SSD, mm -hmm. um, and together with the gamepad, it's uh, $14.99. And the gamepad separately, I believe, is... 249. 249. Right. So the tablet alone, the, the Edge Pro, is um, at 12.99. Right. Okay. And there's one more mode to show, right? There is one more mode to show. So essentially, you, you can have it in tablet mode, you can have it in PC mode, you can have it, have it in mobile console mode, and we've got the fourth mode, which is home console. Okay, so let's walk over there. over there. This is my favorite mode. Um, essentially, we kind of envisaged gamers being able to take... Um, the Razer Edge with them, you know, in tablet mode to use it in tablet, standard tablet applications, and then taking it across um, in a PC mode to take notes and uh, do some work and things like that. Sure. And in mobile console mode, if he's taking a bus back or he's taking the, the, the metro back, um, he's going to be playing in uh, mobile console mode. He gets back to his dorm, he, get, he gets back home, bam, he puts it on this. This is a dock with a HDMI out. And uh, you can hook up controllers with it, and bam, you've got it on the big screen. I see we've got two of Razer's Sabertooth controllers here, but if we wanted to play four-player, we could, right? You absolutely can. So this comes with three additional USB ports on top of the, um, uh, on top of the uh, HDMI out, and we've got a standard um, USB port that comes together with the tablet. Right, that's and USB 3.0. USB 3.0, right. and uh, what we wanted to do is really have all our tablets have a standard USB port that, you know, gamers can say, look, you know, I need more storage space. Put a terabyte drive in that. 
um, I need a um, uh, USB modem. Sure. There you go. So we kind of have this vision that PC gaming should be as open as possible. And um, we came up with uh, the Razer Edge. OK. Uh, so speaking to the, uh, the ability to bring it to all these different places, mm -hmm. say you were using it as a laptop in class and then sure. training it on the subway, how long is this going to last, right, the, the battery life on, on this device? Right. So what we've got on top of uh, all of this is an extended battery. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to use it as a standard Windows tablet, you can use it in standard Windows tablet mode. There is an integrated 40 watt hour battery in that. Okay. And we've got in the gamepad and the keyboard dock an option to add on a standard extendable battery. So, you know, you can buy it and you can just, you know, mix and match it, hot swap it between um, each of the, um, the controller or with the, with the keyboard dock. And uh, it's another additional 40 watt hour battery. Okay. And uh, what's the availability for the Razer Edge? So the Razer Edge is going to be available in quarter one. Okay. Of this year. Thank you. Thank you.